What's up guys, it's Showtime Fight Forum where we talk all things fights. I'm your boy Showtime. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and all that good stuff. Follow me on social media at Papa Showtime, Josh Showtime, either or don't really matter. Now, let's 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 get right into it, y'all. So uh, the fight that we really didn't, once again, we didn't really ask for, at least not right now. We asked for it years ago, but we fortunately we got, and that is, you know, a triple G versus Canelo Alvarez. The fight went down and it went almost exactly how I how I said, but not exactly at the same time. Um, I feel like we all knew who was gonna win this fight. It was clear that once again, Triple G is not the same. And Canelo is in the midst of his prime, but we'll get into that in a little bit. The fight was pretty, uh, it was it was lackluster. It wasn't the fight that we expected. I, Canelo came out a little hot in the beginning. And I honestly think he kind of wore himself out because he was throwing a lot of hooks and he was really trying to go for the knockout. But Triple G's tough, man. He was not settling. He was not rocking. He was not letting it happen. So in reality, it was a good fight from Canelo, but at the same time, we expected better. Simple and plain. I expected a finish. I thought he was going to go for the finish more. However, it looked like he kind of got himself worn out. So I was, I was, I was kind of confused towards the later half of the fight. At one point, people were saying he was playing, playing possum, but no, I've seen Canelo do this before, like in fights where he seemed to be a little frustrated. He did it versus Bivol, he did it versus Floyd. He's done it like a few times where he kind of doesn't seem like he's in the fight. It's kind of like more so like, all right, well, I'm done. Like, and then I'm not saying like, he's saying he's done, like he doesn't want to fight anymore, but it's just like, I've won enough. I'm not really that interested. I'm just, I just don't care anymore. It's like, eh, all right, let's just, Let's just get on with it. Let's just go ahead and keep it good pushing. And it just wasn't, you know, once again, it wasn't that fun. And, and it was nowhere near the trilogy, I mean, the, the first two fights that we've seen where it was action packed, but it also was leaned on, on Triple G. Triple G started off extremely slow. He didn't do anything but throw a jab and the jab wasn't landing. You saw who was the quicker man, you saw who was the younger man. It looked like it, like the entire, like the entire, what, eight rounds of the fight. And my, my big bone to pick really with, with well, not even big bone to pick. The one thing about Triple G, which is I understood is he wasn't, he's not physically able to go 12 hard rounds anymore. That, what that, this is what this fight showed me personally. It was one of those, yeah, I can give you a good six, maybe. I can give you a hard six, possibly. Really four, but I can give you a hard six. I can't do that afterwards. Now, let's be realistic. Which one would you rather do? Go a first hard six or would you rather go a second hard six? In reality, it's better to go to second half because Canelo's not going anywhere. Could, like Triple G in his prime couldn't finish Canelo. He sure as hell not gonna finish him right now. So weather the storm, which is Canelo gonna come high and also Canelo fades. So it's one of those, let's weather the storm and then we can pick it up because I can. I know I got the last six. I can go a little bit harder and I can throw a little bit more. But yet yeah, still, it wasn't good enough. Like in my opinion, he didn't win more than two rounds. Like it was, it was really hard for me to give him two rounds. But to give him five, like the the, the, the scorecards did, I I was confused, man. I don't know. Like I feel like all three of these fights, people like who judge these fights, were watching different fights. It's just weird how these scorecards are. I just didn't understand it. There was no way this this fight wasn't close. Like it wasn't the funnest of fights, but it wasn't the closest of fights. It wasn't It wasn't competitive. It really wasn't. Triple G didn't do much outside of maybe two to three rounds. And anytime he did hit, uh, anytime he did hit Canelo, Canelo fired right back. And I, those punches hurt more than Triple G punches. I'm just, like I said, I, I wasn't impressed from neither one. Uh, I'm more so disappointed in obviously Canelo because Canelo's capable of more. Canelo's supposed to be top, five pound for pound fighter. He didn't really look like it, to be honest. Now, now we have to also break that down and say like, is this from mental fatigue? Is this from physical fatigue? Was he really injured? All these things do take into account. And I do think that the guy is just fatigued. I think that he's been very active these past couple of years um, with the pandemic and things like that. And he probably needs to take some time off. We have to understand that fighters, what fighters put themselves through is completely different than what some of these fight, well, what all these fighters did in the 50s and 60s because how they got in shape was to continuously fight. 
Like you, that's why a lot of these boxers back in the day had 100 fights, 150 fights, 200 fights. You can't do that anymore. That's just unfortunate with the way medicine and the way the game is involved. And it's just, it's no one's doing that anymore. It's never happening again. And reality shouldn't because that's ridiculous. That's a lot of prank band brain trauma that no one wants to see nobody fight every single week. However, there's a reason why the people like Floyd do only fight once, see twice a year in a calendar year. Cause here's the thing about Canelo. You'll see Canelo fight. Maybe you'll say, oh, Canelo only fought like twice this year. But you also gotta remember he probably fought in like December. Then he fought in like October. So in reality, he fought four times in literally one year. So the, so the activity of, of Canelo has been really, really crazy. And I do think that he maybe need to take some time off to recruit, enjoy his time with his family and his kids and then like unwind a little bit and then rest himself up because I'm pretty sure physically he, even outside of the wrist, I'm pretty sure physically he feels like crap. So so take some time off, come back and don't fight people well. I'm sorry, like I, I even if you were, like you can come up with any excuse you want with the comments to this last fight, but this fight didn't get me any more hype than I, even though I wasn't hyper already, but this didn't make me any kind of excited for you to fight Bivol again. It's gonna look like the exact same fight. Like, like, please, please just move on. Fight at your weight class. Like, like maybe after you clear out 168 again, cause you got some dogs coming up. Charles apparently coming up, Benavides is coming. I mean, Benavides is already there. Uh, maybe Andrade is coming up. Like, like clean these guys out and then maybe just go ahead, then go to 75. But I don't wanna see you do it, man. It, there's. Yes, there's uh, stuff to gain from it, but at the same time, it's like there's so much more to lose. So just go these this route, which is still the risky, tough fights, and then go up. So if I had, like I said, if I had a guess or if I had it my way, it's fight Bival, I'm not Bival, fight Benavidez. Just fight, everybody wants it. Just do what the people want. You are like, I ain't gonna say you're a people pleaser, but at the same time, you do give people the fights that they wanna see, even though people say, yeah, he does it late. Whatever, man. He get, he fights the people that he that people want him to fight. So we want you to fight uh, Charlo. We want you to fight Benavidez. Fight Benavidez right now. Charlo. I mean, if Triple G is gonna continue to fight, he still has the belt at 160. Bro, like maybe fight fight Triple G. Triple G versus Charlo. I mean, it's probably gonna be bad for him once again. Charlo's in his prime. Triple G is not. But yet and still, we know that Triple G can still take a punch. So I would love to see that fight. Hopefully, um, if 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 Charlo's gonna stay at 160, fight Triple G. If not at 168, I mean, try to go for Caleb Plant. I mean, fight one of these guys that Canelo's already knocked off and make a statement. Beat him uh, faster or quicker or easier than Canelo did. Make some kind of point. But I need to see activity from these guys. These guys can't keep sitting here waiting for Canelo. I think that's black. I think that's lame. You guys are fighters. You guys need to be active just like Canelo's active. Uh, uh, chase this guy. Like, well, look, there's a whole thing documentary about chasing Tyson from Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield was chasing Tyson. This guy was taking fights after fights after fights. He was calling Tyson out, but yet still, he's still taking other fights. You guys just chilling and standing there, bro. Like, just come on, man. If anything, fight each other. Like, come on, man. Y'all, at the end of the day, stop. I'm not saying y'all ducking, right? Because you guys are professional fighters. Ain't none of y'all pumps. Ain't none of y'all scared. I know y'all not. Y'all about y'all money which is the problem at, at the same time, because you can still make money and then get the money fight with Canelo, especially if you trust your skills as much as y'all say y'all do. Hey, Charlo, you believe you the best? Then fight anybody at that point in time. Benavidez, you talk a lot of stuff. Then once again, why are you two not fighting each other? Why are y'all not fighting Caleb Plant? Why is all this stuff happening? Like, like, where is, like, like politics and all this stuff. Get the fight done. Get the fight done. How's Canelo getting these fights done? Why can't y'all get these fights done? So, yeah, that's 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 really how I feel about that whole situation. The fight wasn't like I said, didn't live up to the hype, but yet and still, uh, Canelo is the victor of the series. He's what two two zero oh, and one, and most people are gonna sit here and say he's one two one and two. If I had to, you know, in Josh's score, I think the fight is two one Canelo. I think Canelo lost the first one. I thought he won the second, and he easily won the third. Like that's not even a debate. It's unfortunate that we couldn't get both these guys literally in the, at their best to fight each other because I think that you know it, we would have got another version of part two, but maybe even crazier because I feel like that was still Triple G a little bit outside of his prime, and then Canelo getting into his prime. So it really wasn't both at their absolute best, but that would have been fireworks in ways. But it doesn't matter. I, I definitely appreciate the trilogy. One of the best trilogies of this century. And, um, you know, we should be grateful for what we've seen. So yeah, 
As always, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. This is Showtime's Fight Forum. Make sure y'all be blessed.